Americans and guns. Let's talk about this topic. There are so many anti-gun people here in the United States and also throughout the world. Now, of course, if you're watching this channel and you're subscribed to Weapons Education, you understand what I'm saying here. We are passionate about our guns and we understand why we are passionate about a 357 Magnum from Smith & Wesson and our heritage as Americans that go back over 235 years now. We're a young country. We're going to talk about the culture of the United States in this video and why Americans love our guns. We're going to talk about all the obvious reasons. The anti-gun people, they just irk me when they say we are obsessed with our guns. We're not obsessed. We're not obsessed with our guns. It's our right to own our guns, to defend our families. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Americans and guns. Welcome to Weapons Education. Americans and guns. Why do we have such a passion for our guns? There's so many people who do not understand this simple question. We understand it. If you're subscribed to Weapons Education, you understand it. We're going to talk about all the obvious reasons. I know we're going to get a lot of really cool comments on this video. But boy, I mean, are we obsessed with guns? No, we're not obsessed with guns. Maybe at cars. Maybe we're obsessed with cars. No, but really, seriously, we're not obsessed with guns. And I can't stand when people across the world, the anti-gun people here in America and across the world thinks Americans are obsessed with guns. I met a lady two weeks ago for lunch. There was five of us. One of the ladies was from Europe. I won't mention the country. And their guns are totally outlawed in that country. There is zero guns. And I told her about my channel. She pulls out her iPad and she looks at one of my videos and she sees all these guns and she thinks I'm some, some crazy obsessed person with guns. I'm like, ma'am, um, no, it's part of our American culture. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of people on a worldwide basis don't understand the way we think. Let's talk about we have such a passion for firearms and what the Second Amendment is all about. Now, first of all, as Americans, we're a young country. What, 235 years or something like that old? That's 230 plus years. We're new. We're a new country. And back from day one, when George Washington had to protect our country during the Revolutionary War, just one year after 1776, and he armed every single American for the Army, put them into Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, over that frozen winter, got 30,000 men. He went from 500 men to 30,000 men in six months, gave them all guns, and of course, we went on to save the colonies, to save the United States of America as we know it. The Founding Fathers had it right. As a matter of fact, let's just talk about a couple of the amendments. We know what the First Amendment is. It's, it reads, I have the actual book here, the Constitution of the United States. It reads, uh, the Constitution shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or forbidding the free exercise of speech. So the freedom of speech is the First Amendment, so the Founding Fathers had it right. Now the Second Amendment, why was it put into place? I think, and we all, I think, will agree, I'll read it, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's, it's one of the short and most straightforward amendments there are. Why did they put that in there, Thomas Jefferson and our founding fathers? Because they wanted to make sure that if the government comes against its own people, the people can protect themselves with a gun, with a firearm, and our rights shall not be infringed against tyranny from our own government. And then other obvious reasons we're going to talk about. Protecting ourselves in self-defense. All right, so it's engraved in our culture from the revolutionary world from day one from the 1700s. What else? Let's just jump around here and talk about some different things. I got a list of reasons why we're so passionate about our guns. How about if you're licensed to carry a gun like most of you are, and hopefully you live in a state where you can, or you can at least have one in your home, 
Can you protect your family? Yes, of course. It's, it's huge. We have to have a gun to protect our family. Guns are out there. They're going to be out there. They've been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, way before America became a country. And we have to have guns to save ourselves and our loved ones from the bad people. And we can also interrupt violent crime. Our, us law-abiding citizens, what if we see a rape in progress or, or someone with a gun under their head at a subway getting a sandwich? You know what I'm saying? We can, we can do things that the police can't because the police can't be everywhere. So that's another reason why we're passionate about our guns is because we want to prevent violent crime and we want to protect our own lives. I wish there were some people with guns in the first couple of rows of that movie theater. How about a home invasion, carjacking? You know, we have to have firearms to protect ourselves. Let's look at what happened to uh, uh, cities and countries throughout the world that outlawed guns. How's the crime rate? Let's talk about cities in Chicago or D.C. or all the cities we know that outlaws guns pretty much. The crime rates are through the roof. The worst in the United States. How about countries, I don't, I don't want to mention countries, but countries that outlaw guns. How are your crime rates over there? You tell me. You live there. I see the comments. I see the facts that you poor friends of ours, allies to Americans, you can't get a gun. I feel for you so much. I think it's, I think it's a shame to your government. What if all of Europe was armed? This just came to me during World War II, when the Nazis invaded. I wonder if 100% if of everyone was armed in Europe. Do you think the Nazis and Hitler would have had a tougher time to accomplish the, the genocide that he did? I don't think he would have got away with it. Okay, um, hunting. I'm just jumping around here. Hunting. It's part of our American culture to hunt, to eat the food that we hunt. It goes way back to the cowboy era. Let's talk about the wild, wild west. The cowboys, like uh, Wild Bill Hickok, a, a gunslinger from the wild west, lawman. Wild Bill Hickok carried a 45. And it just, the cowboys, the whole heritage of Americans goes back to the gun. This is why Americans are so passionate about our guns. How about collectability? You know, the guns will have to last a lifetime. This is a Smith & Wesson 686 357 Magnum that not only can I give to my children, but they can give to their children and so on and so forth. This will last hundreds of years. How about on any, any 1911? Think of a product that's over 100 years old now. This happens to be a Colt 1911. Delta Elite, chambered in 10 millimeter. Think of a product that hasn't changed in over a hundred years. The gun. The gun is huge. So they last a lifetime. All these guns have stories behind them. When I look at this gun, my first gun, and this gun, uh -huh. these are my first two guns. I, coincidentally, I grabbed these. I just realized, honestly, really, this, this 357 and this Colt Delta Elite are the first two guns I purchased in the early 80s. They have a lot of history to me and good memories and stories behind them. And I can, I can look at each gun and think of, oh, remember that day I went to the range? Or remember I was outdoors shooting that day and this day and the other? So the guns, as us two Americans, they have a history to, to them, each gun, and a story behind each gun, and it's part of our family culture. What if you live in the great outdoors, I don't know, Oregon and the mountains somewhere, and uh, you got a threat from wild wolves, uh, bear attacks, things like that? We need the gun. Okay, so the threat of wild animals is real. Police cannot be everywhere. Uh, how about sports shooting, trap shooting, you know, and going to the range? These are all different reasons why Americans are so passionate about our guns. Throw in your comments. I know this is, this is going to get a lot of really cool comments, I think, this video. I'm really looking forward to it. And I want to finish up the video with the main reason why American laws right now are pr actually pretty good. When you look at other countries, the United States of America has the best laws in the world. I know California, New Jersey, I know Illinois, I know the problem states, and the NRA is fighting for us. And as always, I'm going to put a link below to join the NRA through my site and get $10 off. PM me if you joined, because I, I like to call people who join the NRA. Spend the $25, please. But I want to read you uh, 
a quote right here from Wayne LaPierre, the CEO president, the leader of the NRA for a long time now. And I interviewed him, by the way, at SHOT Show 2012. If you haven't seen that video, go to my SHOT Show videos and, and, or just Google Wayne LaPierre Weapons Education and you'll see my interview with Wayne. He is the man. Here is a quote from Wayne. The fight is on for 2012. This is a huge election, folks. Okay. Anybody who says gun owners won't be a factor has not paid attention to the history of elections in our great country. We're going to stand up in this election. Gun owners, like never before, are going to stand up. Back to his quote. Every time freedom is at risk, it is fought for and preserved by the work, the wallets, and the will of millions of NRA members and gun owners and patriots. In the force of peril, we will always stand up. Then he continues on and says, our liberty in this country lives in, within the Second Amendment, the fundamental right that separates us Americans from all other nations on earth. I want to say that part again. Our liberty in this country lives within the Second Amendment, the fundamental right that separates us from all other nations on earth. That freedom makes us better than other countries. That freedom makes us stronger than other countries. Wayne LaPierre, unquote, CEO, NRA. We love all our allies and all of our friends out there. I wish everyone could have the gun rights we have. I want to say one last quote here from Thomas Jefferson. This is off a little bit of a different subject, but listen to this. To preserve our independence, we must not let our rulers load us with debt. Huh. He said this in the 1700s. I am for a government rigidly frugal, cheap, and simple. Thomas Jefferson. Imagine if we had a government that was frugal and simple. He nailed it, and not in debt. He nailed it. Our founding fathers nailed it. They nailed it with the Second Amendment. They nailed it where we have to have our guns to protect us against the government and tyranny against the government, to protect us against bad guys, to protect our lives, to help society in case police can't get there in time. They nailed it. They got it right. That is why we are so passionate about our guns. We are not obsessed with guns. We are passionate about our Constitution of the United States and we want to go right back to it, and we don't want to see our government going off path. We want a simple, small government, and that's why we love our guns. Throw in your input. Why does America love our guns? That's the question. Thank you. Please subscribe. Please tell a friend. Please share this on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Thank you so much. Tom, Weapons Education, check it out.